My team and I looked at initiatives and strategies for technology innovation in the financial sector. We understand the opportunities, assess the risk of adopting new and emerging technologies, develop the blueprint for the financial infrastructure to support the future of financial services. An example of technology innovation uh, in recent years has been the adoption of digital assets as well as the decentralization of financial services. Through the use of blockchain and related technologies, whole ecosystem has been spawned, new opportunities have been created, ranging from uh, new use cases, consortiums and initiatives. One specific example in which MAS has taken a very active role is Project Ubin, which is a multi-year effort to look at applying blockchain for the purposes of payment and settlement system. So on the retail side, MES has also launched a global CBDC challenge together with partners such as the IMF, World Bank and other leading international organisations to look at how retail CBDC could enable greater payment efficiency and increased financial inclusion. In designing and developing these initiatives, it's important to understand the trade-off that exists between new forms of systems that are created the trade-offs between maintaining the status quo and also understand the parameters in which these new infrastructure and architectures are designed and implemented. For example, in the space of DeFi or decentralized finance, what we see is a paradigm shift from a single party being held accountable and responsible for providing financial services to one where there's a greater emphasis on smart contracts and the governance of the network. In order for us to be able to respond and design such a system, it's important that we look at it with a fresh pair of eyes and with an open mind towards adoption of these new sets of technologies and capabilities. In this fast and evolving space, it's important that regulators take a proactive approach, understand the opportunities, the risks, but also create an environment in which such innovation could be allowed to thrive. It's important that while doing that, public interests are maintained. One specific example uh, would be the introduction of the regulatory sandbox, which is an environment in which financial institutions, fintech companies, could bring forth their fresh ideas, their innovation, and test this concept out in a safe and a controlled manner. So another important success factor is the tight collaboration between the private sector as well as the public sector. It's important that we take a user-centric approach, collaborating with the different parties. This will allow us to prioritise the needs of the different stakeholders and look at a feasible and uh, viable roadmap of capabilities that we introduce in a staged and controlled manner that will ultimately benefit all stakeholders involved. We continue to look at new use cases understand the opportunities and risks that applies with emerging technologies. We invite more participants to join us as we expand out the understanding of where fintech could be applied across the sector. The future of financial infrastructure needs to be open and inclusive. We continue to work with businesses and individuals to enable a more seamless and accessible financial infrastructure. We look forward to creating new pathways for financial inclusion that leads to a safe and sustainable digital economy.